Everyone please stand for the bride. Who present this woman to this man to be married? Thank you, sir. Can you give her a kiss on her cheek, please? Can you shake uh, the gentleman hand here? Give him a hug. Thank you very much, sir. Cindy, will you take your arm, put it through Michael's arm, and face me? I'll let you turn back around in a couple of minutes and face one another. The maid of honor, can you come over to Sydney's left, please? Everyone else may be seated. Dearly beloved, we gather together here this precious, wonderful, exciting, lovely, beautiful, warm, hot day here in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the little church of the West, to bring together Michael and Sydney and Holy Matthew. Marriage is an unhonorable estate. It's instituted by Almighty God. It's declared by St. Paul to be honorable among all men. It should not be entered into without holy advice or life, but reverently, sober, advisedly, and in the love of God. I'd like to charge you both on your long anticipated, perfect, waiting day here, and you stand in the presence of Almighty and precious God to remember that true love and faithful observance of your wedding vows are required as the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage, and the home that you two will endeavor to establish will be a vain effort. Keep the solemn vows your young, warm, loving, dear, true, honest, tender hearts are allowed to connect on this wonderful afternoon. Live with tender consideration also with each other. Conduct your lives in honesty and in truth, and your marriage will last. Michael, Cindy, even before God had spoken the world into existence, he had seen that you two would be here in the little church of the West in Las Vegas, Nevada, becoming husband and wife. Michael, with your best man here, Cindy, with your maid of honor here, and with your special guest out there. Nothing takes God by surprise. He seems to be getting at the end all at the same time. God has a plan and a purpose for your lives today. You have been ordained and chosen by God from the foundations of the world to live the rest of your lives together as an example to your children, to your friends, to your family, to the Love is kind, love is patient, love does not behave itself unseen, love seeks not her own way, love is not arrogant, love is not jealous, love is not fucked up, love keeps no records of wrong, but love believes all things, it hope all things, it endure all things. Now we have these three, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these will always be the love you two wonderful, special, spectacular, precious people are going to share on this journey. Your love will overcome and conquer all the winds, the rain, the storms, or any adversity that may try to enter into your life or your marriage. If it be a hundred years from today, whatever you may encounter, always remember that poor letter words spell love also spell success in this life and this walking, especially on this exciting journey you're about to encounter. Cindy, may the maid of honor hold your flowers for you, please. I need you two to turn and face one another, hold hands, look one another straight in the eye, and let's repeat the wedding vows. Thank you first, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Take me, Cindy. Take me, Cindy. To be my wedding wife. To be my wedding wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. This day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I pledge my faith. I pledge my faith. Thank you, Michael. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Take me, Michael. Take me, Michael. To be my wedding husband. To be my wedding husband. To have to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. I pledge my faith. Thank you, both so kind. Michael, will you take Cindy's brain for us? Put it on her left hand, third finger, please. Prayer for the success and the prosperity of this couple's life and marriage. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this loving couple as they begin the most important journey of this lifetime, this marriage journey. Father, we ask you that you would bless this couple, lead them and guide them in the right direction. We petition your throne that this marriage would be a success, prosperous, and an example to the whole wide world. We invite you here this afternoon as honored guests at this one wedding in their lives and their hearts. We ask you that you return the water into the 
wine of joy. In Jesus' name, amen. With the authority that is invested in me by Almighty God in the state of Nevada, I gladly pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Now you may kiss your wonderful wife. Let's give a big hand. Thank you.